Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you two easy and stylish hairstyles that's a perfect for the summer. And guess what? No bobby pins needed. Let's get started. Our first hairstyle is going to be half up half down look. It's super simple and looks great on everyone. For this style, you need two elastic hair ties. I'm using clear ones, but feel free to use black, brown, or whatever color matches your hair best. First, leave some hair out at the front to frame your face. I prefer to cover my ears, so I'm leaving enough hair to do that too. Now, get a top section of your hair around the temple line. To keep things neat, you can clip the bottom section of your hair out of the way, so it prevents tangle your hair when you tie it. Now, take an elastic hair tie and make a ponytail with the top section. For a more messy and casual look, you can pull out some hair and then when you pull out the hair on the side, make sure you pull out towards the bottom. For now, clip the ponytail at the top and then let's move on to the bottom section. Take the clip out of the bottom section. And grab a small section of a hair like this much. You can clip the remaining hair at the bottom again to keep it from tangling. You can grab another elastic hair tie and this time instead of making regular ponytail, we are going to create a knot at the end. Now, take off top ponytail and put your finger through the loop you just created. Pull the top ponytail through it. As you can see, the loop will naturally position itself vertical. Tighten and secure everything in place. Use your finger to comb it through and you are all done! A super easy, no bobby pin needed, half up half down style that's perfect for summer. It's cute and stylish and keep your hair out of your face. Okay, now let's move on to the second hairstyle. This one is a perfect if you want a full volume ponytail and no hair tie showing. If you like leaving some hair to frame your face, make sure you section that off first. I always a little bit of hair around my face to make a softer look. If you leave the hair at the front like me, make sure you leave the hair at the front, temple, and sideburn. Now, gather the top part of your hair around your ear line. This is similar to the half up half down style we just did. For this ponytail, I'm using a thicker extra strong hair tie because it will need to hold all of your hair. You can pull out some hair to make it messy and textured on top. After you made a ponytail, you can clip it on the top part so it doesn't get tangled. Next, let's work on the bottom section. Gather the remaining hair and make a second ponytail as close as possible to the top one. 
the closer the better for the seamless look. Now, the top ponytail divide it into two sections to create a hole and pull the bottom ponytail through this gap. To get the full volume look, I like to add some teasing powder to the ponytail. Then, take the small section and gently back comb each one to create a volume. This is really helps make the ponytail look thicker and more lifted. And there you have it! A beautiful volume ponytail with no visible hair tie. This trick with the two ponytails really helps to maximize the volume. Do you want to see how regular ponytail is? This is my regular ponytail. Looks so sad. I added hair extension this time because my hair is a bit short. But don't worry, if you don't have any extensions, you can still create a great look with just your natural hair. And that's it for today's hairstyle. I hope you found these tips helpful and easy to follow. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.